Before we draw any graph, we are always advised to start with a table of results. So, Mr. Examiner, sir, in our solution, table of results, For the curve, y is the covariant x squared uh, plus 6 minus x, sorry, plus x minus 6. For negative 5 is less than x, less or equal to 3. So that would mean that we need to draw our table of results. So in our table of results, we start with our x value. But our x values, remember, they are telling us negative 5, that is one inequality symbol. Negative 5 is less than x. If negative 5 is less than x, then it means that x is greater than negative 5. Which means negative 5 is not a solution. We start from the next value. That is to say, a negative 4. So we have our negative 4 there. Negative 3. Negative 2. Negative 1. A 0. A 1. A 2. And then finally a 3. So we are moving from negative 4 to positive 3. So this is our table. So that would mean that we are having a closed table. I expect yours to be more neat than mine. So after getting our x here, the next value is supposed to be our x squared. We are now going to break down each one of them and have them in one row each. So the x squared comes there. The next one is a positive x. Then the last one is a negative 6. And then finally, they are supposed to give us the final result for the value of y. That is y. Now what is remaining is mere substitution. In substituting, they are telling us square x. x squared. Our first value of x is negative 4. So we are going to have a negative 4, which is squared. Which is the same thing as saying, a negative 4 times a negative 4. A negative and a negative multiplied will give you a positive. A 4 times a 4 will give you a 16. So implying that negative 4 squared will give us a 16. Negative 3 squared will give us a 9. Negative 2 squared gives us a 4. Negative 1 squared gives us a 1. A 0 squared gives us a 0. A 1 squared, that is 1 times 1, gives us a 1. 2 squared gives us a 4. And then 3 squared giving us a 9. The next one says positive 